You are listening to a MetalExpressRadio.com interview. Enjoy. Nick and Tracy, uh, new band, new album. How excited are you? I mean, you've been in the business for so many years, uh, but this is uh, a new thing. Uh, how excited are you? It's like but it's like when we did our our bands the first time. You know, it's exciting. It's you, but except for that we know what to expect. You know, because we've we've done this before. So this is like e- this is so easy for us. People go, what's it like starting over? We go, well, you think this is like we haven't done this before? Yeah, you know, yeah. we've done this before. We're enjoying ourselves. We're really loving it. Oh man, it, it's it's a, it really is different every day too. Yeah, we play know. in front of twelve thousand people one day. We headline the, you know to two thousand people. Then we do a little tiny club. Then we support somebody. It's just fucking wild. We're going to Japan. We're headlining you know forty thousand people. 40, and then you know we'll go to Australia and probably play to two thousand people. And then uh-huh. we'll do a little club and play to a hundred people. It's uh, fucking weird. It's, it's weird. It's great. It's I love cool. it. It's it's like um, we're actually those people that go, God, if I knew what I knew now then. You know, we're in that position. You know, it's like brand new, and we have some knowledge and some experience, and it makes it a lot better. It really does. And uh, you know, and I know that I can pick on anybody because he's got my back. So I feel like I'm six him. two. I kill him. And so the security level's high. It's nice, <laughs> and um, there's a lot of pretty younger girls. You know, <laughs> I'm surprised how many. I mean, enjoying the fact people. a lot of younger fans. You know. A lot of times we've played places, um, like when we played in Italy, it seemed that more people knew the brides than they, we, you know, we'll we'll do an L.A. Gun song or, or a Motley song out of respect, you know, and we love that stuff, but... Um, so you do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we don't focus on it, and it's not like what we're about, but it's about respect. It's I've played those songs so many times that, you know, to be honest with you, I'd rather not, and I'd rather only play brides. Because I'm in a band called Motley Crue, you know, but we owe it to the fans. But I'm not, and I love and he loves Motley Crue, man. <laughs> and he loves it, and I, and I actually enjoy playing the L.A. Guns stuff yeah, more than the Motley stuff. But he gets to pick the Motley stuff, and I get to pick the L.A. Guns stuff, which is cool because yeah, he picks songs that, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, that would be cool. I haven't played that before. We don't really do any hits. Yeah, we don't really, you know, just, we played mostly Shout and... Too yeah, love, yeah. Know, but yeah, after this yeah. run, you know, next time we rehearse, we'll probably even learn some more obscure stuff. Eventually, yeah. it'll we'll just weed it out, and it'll only be brides, and maybe we'll do like an obscure Motley and an obscure LA Guns, yeah. um, because we don't want to. We're not, a, you know, we don't want to be known as the. That's what we do. Yeah, we want people to know us for the brides. But of sure. course, you have a history. Yeah. Right, and so you need to be respectful of yeah. that history yeah. and and. You know, and we are, and we're proud. And we wrote the songs. So. We wrote the songs, you know, so you know, it's, it's okay. Cool. And, and uh, you know what, though, honestly, the fans go crazy. The fans love it, you know, they but love it. eventually, you know, you don't want to be known as a, a band that goes out there and does a nostalgia show based on your past. You want to be right. living in the present. So, you know, for now, it's really cool. We're having a lot of fun. Um, in the end, you know, a couple albums from now, you know, when we got 30 songs to choose from, you know, it'll be the. The, the the small percentage of what we do, yeah, uh, the, 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 like like the, like the, like Guns and, and Motley songs will probably be part of the set and not because now we we group them together now. Like right now we play Brides, L.A. Guns, the Motley Crew. When um, we're headlining, when we're headlining, we we'll do three sets. Right, and in the future we'll probably say, oh, why don't we you know put Doctor Feelgood here in the set and you know like yep. you know Ballad of Jane here or something, whatever we do, and then the encores will hopefully would be our hits our hits you know like bigger songs that we do you know? I mean your debut is um, with some of the nine songs on the album mm-hmm. so so uh, the, the gigs our would have been very short if you didn't play songs yeah, from yeah. Right. exactly exactly right. our manager likes to call it an EP <laughs> yeah an EP of demos <laughs> an EP of demos it's all it is really, it's really to be honest with you is, yeah. Um, why didn't you put more tracks on the album? It's all we recorded. We, we, just, did, we, we never made an album. We never made an album. We had no intention of this even really coming out. We just wrote some songs, gave them to the management, put them up on the internet. All yeah. of a sudden, the phone starts ringing. We want to release your record. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll give you this much money. Okay, we'll go record a record. No, 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 no. We want that. Yeah, after we already gave it away. You we know, gave it we, away we gave for it free. gave it away for free on the internet for almost a year. Yeah, we're like, well, why do you want to release yeah, this? Yeah, why do you want to release this? Because we love it. 
<laughs> we're like, all right, fine. All right, <laughs> you know. So um, have you been writing uh, after you released this? So you have a lot of uh, tracks and stuff so you can go and record yeah, another we album? We scrapped all that. Really? We, we scrapped <laughs> like 31 songs. And we started writing yesterday. We have well, we have four new songs that are like yeah. like almost there. Um, it won't take long. Yeah, I mean we're you know we're, we feel like after playing you know over 20 shows now and seeing the way that that crowd responds to certain types of music we play, that we can really focus and, and, and give them more of what they really like. And we figured out who we are. Yeah, of course. Almost. almost. <laughs> we're getting closer. Yeah. Very and close. We well, I mean, you you need to be a band to know play live with each other to know what stuff turns us on musically. You know, when Scott does certain things on the drum, it makes me do certain things on the bass. And before it was like, here, just play a drum beat and just lay the bass down. And Tracy's like, yeah, this is good enough. And that's what we were doing. And because we're into songwriting, people go, wow, those are great songs. But when you see us live, you're gonna go, wow. What it's different. It's more, just more passionate. Yeah. Uh, the first tracks on the album are very punkish, punk influenced. Uh, which direction will it take now? Will you play more punk or be more hard rock? Probably be the variety of stuff again, but I think it'll be more like, like shut the fuck up and um, I don't care. I think we're one thing that we noticed about the EP of demos. Um, we didn't really write any songs about sex. I mean, we didn't even think about it because we weren't writing. We were just writing songs. We weren't like going, oh, you know, this. We need more of this. More. Yeah, like we go, what's revolution about? And we go, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was just like, uh, somebody give me a piece of paper. And, okay, great. Go sing that. Yeah, you know, it wasn't like really, you know, focused. Now we're focused. Yeah, I mean, so like if we could write a song that's like, shut the fuck up and let me fuck you. You know what I mean? Instead then then of it'll just, be us. Yeah, then yeah. it'll be then that will be us. You know, th that's better. You know, so it's the same. But now let's add some women into it. You know, that's that's the one thing that we're excited about right now. It's like you know, really getting dirty and sleazy and still heavy. You, know? you said you started writing new songs yesterday. Uh, do you do that as a band or? Uh, well, mainly Nikki and I. We we. You're, you're a team. Yes. yes, absolutely. We create the frame the skeleton, so to speak, and then we show it to the band, and we're like, now let's play it like a band, and then, you know, those guys are very creative. It's like, oh, what if we did this? Or London's like, what if I could do this with the melody instead of that? Oh, that's a great idea, and it comes very fast. Things take too long in the brides, and they get thrown away. Yeah. It's it's instant gratification. It's, um, you know, if it works, it works, and if it doesn't work, we don't we're not interested. It's just it's it's just very pure. It is. Now, we've written some pretty interesting stuff in the last four months. Um, you know, I don't know if we're going to use all of it, but I know that there's four that we have right now that are um, two are really rock. You know, like really, really, you know, good. Except Scorpions, Motley Crue. You know. And then uh, we have like kind of like a countryish ballad y kind of song, and yep. then um, we have like a like a, a big project I'm working on um, that we're going to get an orchestra involved with, you know, a very big piece of music, very dramatic and, yeah. and, and bizarre. And then the rest of the album is just dirty, Rock. just yeah. dirty. Sounds great. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we're not going <laughs> to bore anybody, you know, but we're going to have one big one on there. Yeah. I heard that uh, John Karabi was uh, in the band for a while. We don't wanna, you know what? I, I, I don't want to ever say anything about John because I love him as a person. But right now I'm really mad and I don't want to talk about John. Okay. Yeah. Did you leave LA Guns to, uh, to join uh, the Brides? I did. I, 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 I left LA Guns and went on tour with them putting this band together, which was a very... Uh, Peculiar when the band is paying for a tour bus that I turn into a recording studio to write songs for another band that I probably could have done it with a little bit more tact. I probably could have, but I was so excited to come home, you know, and uh, because I knew when we started talking again about doing a band that we were going to have a great relationship and that we were going to be able to make decisions based on comfort instead of necessity you know what i mean and and 
to really have fun with music and not really worry about, oh, fuck, you know, we're not pleasing, you know, this fucking guy over here, you know, and he's going to leave us, and then what are we going to do, you know? And I felt like I've been in that position for almost like 10 years in my band, you know? And Seriously? Yeah, yeah, because, you know, it, it's... People are fucking greedy, you know, and and the right sleaze ball can really manipulate your way of thinking, you know. Even if you're very intelligent, you know, you start, you know, he does one good thing for you, and you're like, wow, you know, then this guy, fucked. yeah, then you're fucked, you know. And um, and I think, you know, especially us two guys, we're older than most of the people in the music business now, and managers, and all these people, and so the guys that work with us are old school. I mean, you know, most of the guys that work with us are like well into their 50s and 60s, you know, because they're the only ones that really have more experience doing this, and they definitely get the humor, and they definitely like the rock and roll, because there's a lot of 70s influence in what we do, too, you know, so they relate to the music, and they like it. What if um, this uh, Motley Crue reunion will happen? We'll just put this uh, band on ice then? No, I don't. I mean, you know, first of all, who knows if it will happen? And um, second of all, if it does, who knows how long it'll be? But you know, I don't foresee it being anything too long. And um, in the meantime, you know, we write our music. We got an album to record. You've got to set the record up. You know, then it'll be time to tour, and the Motley thing will have either not happened or it'll be done. Are you involved uh, in the production of this uh, the Dirt movie? Of course. Mm. Of course, yeah. Um, in what stage is uh, the production right now? Finishing the, um, the re cleaning up the script, and then once it's green-lighted, then we pick our producers and directors, and then um, casting, and then we shoot the movie. The last thing you do before you shoot is the casting, and that's probably the, the part I'm least, you know... Dennis Dunaway. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, that part's just weird to me. That part's just bizarre, yeah. How about this uh, book I've been reading about, the, uh, is it Heroin Diary? That's cool. Yeah, uh, will that be released? It'll come out probably around the tour. Uh, what's the difference between that and, and The Dirt? It's uh, just yeah, your biography. It's a diary, and um, it's just kind of a flies, um, you know, fly on the wall view of what addiction is. You know, basically, you get to see it day in, day out. It's it's really not to do with the band at all. It's sort of my my drug addiction, and I think it's an important book because it shows people the um, you know the depths of uh, the depths that people you know get into when you're into drug addiction. Did you talk to the rest of the guys uh, in Matona, or did you just read about each other in, in the press? No, no, no. We talk all the time. Yeah. I uh, just heard that uh, Vince is going to join this uh, extreme makeover uh, thing. What do you think about that? It's his life. <laughs> yeah. Do you really think this reunion will happen? or I just to be honest with you, I have no <laughs> idea. And to be honest with you, I don't really at this point care or am inter interested because I'm focusing on the brides. And if Motley happens, then I'll focus on Motley for that time. And then when I'm done with Motley, I'll focus on the brides. I'm not. I'm, I'm not very interested in, in looking into the future because you don't really. You can't predict the future. You can't make it go your way. So, um, <coughs> if if it happens, cool. And if it doesn't happen, I'm equally cool with that. Mm.